Why did you switch to eight? Uh, because it was my high school number. Um, I wore it in middle school. Um, it's a number that's always been a part of me. So as soon as I got the chance to switch, I switched. I feel like every, everybody would, would have did the same. So. Is that why your play has gotten that much better this spring? Um, what, what did you do this offseason? I mean, there's really no offseason. Like, man, I feel like they ain't really no uh, recipe. Like, you just got to work, you feel me? Uh, stick, stick, stick to the basics. Like everybody try to get too pretty in the offseason, man. I just try to go back, watch film, and see what I need to get better at. Uh, and I try to get, and I, and I, I work on that uh, every day, um, every week. Uh, staying after lift, uh, trying, tr tr trying to work on my lower body and just trying to piece everything uh, piece by piece. But, man, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't really no uh, recipe. It's just work. And, and just like we always say, work, work. So. How much does offseason eight last year's rotational piece really help you get comfortable and learn and mm -hmm. have to apply to Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I feel like most players would have pouted. Uh, I don't want to rotate. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to start. Yeah, it seems nice, but I mean, I, I really just tried to make a positive out of uh, out of something that people thought was negative. Um, and I just try to learn from those guys, Fentrell, Duda. Um, I try to learn from how they approach the game, how they study film, what they see in a particular offense and what I could add to my arsenal that they have in theirs. And just really just trying to be grateful uh, for, for every – opportunity that is presented to me uh, and I feel like I've made the most of it and uh, I'm going to build upon that this year so where do you think you've taken the biggest leap forward whether in the last year or since you've arrived in college biggest leap um man I'm always a mental guy um I feel like the physical will always be there but if you don't have the mental you can't be great in this game like if you don't have the mental um toughness um the mental perseverance to play this game, I feel like you will never be great. So every off season, I try to work on my mind. Uh, everybody know uh, I'm a, I'm a God-fearing man. Uh, so that so that plays a huge part in how I show up on, on the field. So really, all, 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 all glory to God, so. How much motivation is it? I don't even know if you know the answer, but I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it's it's nothing less than motivation for real. Like, and it's crazy you say that because when um like the next following day I was talking to my teammates and, I'm just, and we all looking like like we always like know okay like we can go to combine we can put draft and all that you feel me but it's crazy like when some you went like somebody you went to war with you feel me and you seeing them on TV it's like it really can be possible you feel me it's possible it's there it's right in front of us we just got to go to work you feel me N never get complacent and go to work so just seeing them boys at the combine and really just show up and really just prove to everybody like that it was real like this was not no fluke you feel me so uh, I mean just seeing them boys really just gave me that extra uh, motivation that it, can, it that it is possible so and then out there on the field obviously you had to cover good like receivers here the last few years yep but different type receivers you're having to cover now it's a lot of speed yep how much mm -hmm. does that change anything at all or yeah you, what is that challenge like to have to cover yeah some guys that you really really yep. cover yeah, most of um, this year, um, I feel like we will be the fastest that we've ever been. Um, and I and I say that to my coaches, I say that to my teammates, and I really believe it because, I mean, in the winter workouts, I saw it. Uh, speed work, I saw it. And I knew coming out like that everybody was going to have some speed. Everybody was going to be stronger, faster. Um, but, I mean, I feel like that's just going to help me in my game, and it's going to help, help uh, everybody else um, because, I mean, I feel like playing DB, you got to have that versatility in your arsenal. Like, you, like you got to be able to – cover big guys you got to be able to cover route runners you got to be uh, be able to cover fast uh faster type receivers um so i mean i'm really just trying to learn uh day by day and it's the fourth day uh so i'm still learning um so i mean i mean so, so far so good so really can't complain what have you tried to tell kai and charles and mm -hmm. guys like that yep. about you know these first practices yep. first spring? man really what are like and, and you can ask them i really just try to simple it down to, to them um, coming in, um, I don't say like my, my like the leadership was bad. I'm just saying like coming in, I just thought that I had, I just my, my, like my mind was everywhere. Um, so me understanding that, I try to get them to understand like like it's 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 gonna come. You feel me? Like just take it one step at a time. Like you don't gotta learn everything today. You feel me? So me coming in, I thought that. So um, me just going <laughs> for real, but me just going through that and um, just understanding that it's a process. You feel me? And I just try to simple it down to them. Like, and it's really like I just tell them like, okay. Today you're gonna learn this. Today you're gonna learn that. Go home and just study it. Like you ain't gotta go home and stress about it. Be like, just go home, study it, watch film on that same, on, watch all the cutups on that same call, and 
and the more you do that, the more consistent you be, the more it'll start showing up on the field. And just learn from your, and just learn from your mistakes, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. So that's that's really the main thing I try to tell them. And if you can, and if I can tell them that, they, and they can go out there and play free, that's going to be able to. A com a, it's going gonna, it's gonna to put them in the best position to go out there and play free and be and, and play to the best of their ability. So, how much pressure was that for you when you got here? And yeah. How much do you like stepping into that? Yeah. The um, yeah. So really, when I first got here, it was Travis J. Um, Travis J. Was really uh, that's my um, guy. I, I feel like that's somebody that, I, that I'm going to forever shout out because um, when I first got here, it was fast. Um, and um, I mean, I. I knew what college was like because I had because I have older older, bro, uh, older brothers obviously, um, but it's different when you're actually in it, and uh, I'm gonna forever say that because it, it it really is. So um, he uh, really just sat me down, just and really what I'm telling Charles and Kai, that's really what he told me. Like just take it day by day, and uh, so I say Travis J. Did you know how fast Taylor Reed was? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> yes, sir, I did. What's that? You know, he seems like I mean, you guys are all fast, right? Yep. Yep. What kind of challenge is that? Um, I mean, personally, I haven't went against him. Um, so, but I mean, I've saw it though. Like, uh, <laughs> I've saw it. But I mean, he, he is fast though. Um, now, is he the fastest? I really don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I'm most definitely gonna put him up there though. But I mean, his speed, his quickness is different though. Like, like if y'all was out there and winning workouts, you'll really understand what I'm saying. But like, just how he can. Move and stop on a dime, like it's, yeah, it's just weird type speed. Yeah, like, yeah. So. Anything else for AZ? All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate it, AZ. Yes, sir.